now it looks like a car. All right, now we're finally to a point where this looks like some sort of vehicle. And uh, I've taken my pins out, and um, I'm going to use those here with my front crumple zone. With my front crumple zone, I'm going to use this material. These they should have uh, four pieces of this in your bag that supposedly came off your chassis. So I'm going to put these on here and mark the overhang. As an aside, this material works as well. You can take parts that were cut for your ribs and do the same thing. I, th I like to use this material because I think it gives me a little bit of a stiffer um, crumple. It doesn't break as much as it just kind of bends. But I have seen people use the blue stuff effectively. So I'll just mark there like that. And I'll do the other one like such. If yours is bent a little bit in there, you want to change that. Right. And this one as well. And now I'll cut those off, or I'll make that mark, I'll just make these marks with a ruler. And I think the easiest and safest way to do this is just to cut these with a, with scissors, cut them right on that line. You, Obviously, I know some of you are going to use X-Acto knives, but the problem with using an X-Acto knife is you don't have much to hold on to. So, it's pretty darn easy to cut this with a pair of scissors. And then I've got that, I've got those. Uh, I don't know if I want these or not. I'll probably just put them back in my bag because I may think of something that they may become. And then I'll stick this in here. And I'll do the same thing I have been doing where I just pin that through. These pins won't go all the way in. They're going to hit the wood to do that across. Now what you're going to do, you've got these three things in there. And now I'm just going to set that on its side. Uh, one thing is that this is the minimum. You, you, three, basically three things in here uh, doing, you know, helping to absorb the impact is really the minimum. I've seen people do different stuff in there. That's great. But three is pretty much the minimum. Be careful in here. Don't go gluing over you know, in this area uh, so that your wheel can't turn. So be careful with that. And simply... Uh, I'm going to glue this on here. Let's see if I can get this so you, everybody can see. Yeah. And I'm going to just glue this side. I'm going to keep that a nice flat uh, tack uh, or a bead. Glue it to the front and then I'm going to go in here and glue these right down to the wood as well and all of these as well and then I'll just let that cool and uh, I'll flip it over and do the same thing on the other side 